Hey, what's up guys? It's Oakley, and I'm going to be doing a room 2 battle with myself and Indie Pride. This was uh, played a little while ago, but I hadn't put the recording up, and it is going to be a very interesting battle. It is going to be get uh, getting started very quick. I'm going to put this on slow motion just because the action is super quick. So we're defending as two Egyptian players, and what we found is the enemy deployed super spread out. So what we're going to be doing is going very aggressive for a knockout blow at the army on the left. And the way we're going to be doing this is I have... Uh, two of these skirmisher cav just to try and distract the enemy and then kind of backing that up we have the scythe chariots and ptolemaic cav in tow and this is brutal look at this entire army on the run over there so my one force is coming over here and indy pride has so many other chariots also coming in so it's going to be a beautiful envelopment coming in on here on a moving mass of men none of them are braced at all um, with that being said the enemy is going to be charging there but let's watch the action first and foremost up here where it is going to get really crazy so here comes one chariot charge just tearing through these lines like I said the enemy was on the go marching in thin spaghetti lines not at all bracing nowhere uh, you know is there support to be seen and so we're going to be rampaging through here this is the exact rape uh, ground for a chariot assault. This is how effective chariot assaults might have been against loose formations. And look at us mow these warriors down just constantly. This is a uh, weekend chore. This is Sunday mowing the lawn. Uh, except instead of blades of grass, it's going to be these Galatian troops. And look at the constant cycling. We're getting on these guys' crazy stuff. And so what you saw here was the remain, you know, what used to be an army is now um, just torn to little itty bitty bits and pieces. We're going to continue to chase around and mow down a couple more, you know, chariots perhaps being destroyed here and there. For the most part, this was extremely effective. Look at the remains of that army. Uh, 423 kills already on a side chariot in the first couple seconds of the match. 300 there, 68, and 25 on that unit. So that is incredible. Uh, my skirmisher cab in the back with zero kills. Another chariot routing with 265. So that is Crazy. The enemy is charging down through the center. They have their own African elephants and chariots in the mix. So we're going to be deploying our Egyptian pikes. Egyptian pikes are pretty crap native troops. Um, but this is exactly what you need to fend off uh, chariot forces and elephants. So the enemy seems to be trying to repay uh, our strategy in kind. But it is not going to go well. We are formed up nice with some pikes supporting javelins. And the enemy is going to be going down pretty handily. So this is as poor an assault as one could imagine. Slinger fire also going to be raining down from the top. We have flaming balls as well. So right from the get-go, you know that this has been an absolute carnage-filled battle. Yeah, look at those chariots doing nothing. Over here, the elephants trying to find a, a nice place to rally. But we're going to be coming back in the rear with some skirmishers. And oh god, here comes some scythe chariots. Going to be angling to hit these dudes in the rear not good uh, the enemy is finally recovering from that assault and it's gonna be pouring into the city we have a lot of units stationed in the back but here comes the rear charge again let's check on the chariots 303 kills oh and they route just before they get in so this one 427 let's see how many it's gonna end up after this brutal charge the elephants do oh, sorry about that the elephants do um, intercept us somewhat but not before we can continue uh, to get the chores done here Oh, scraping the back of the formations that are anviled against spikes. Jesus Christ, this is so brutal. Six hundred and third and forty. Oh my God, they just got like two hundred kills in this engagement. Pulled the elephants into contact, and they're going to be rampaging. So this is just ridiculous. I have never seen a battle with this many kills single-handedly done by the chariots. That is crazy stuff. Egyptian pikemen still holding strong. Um, and now we have some carrion axemen lining up. There are some enemy chariots trying to get in on the mix, knowing that this is a, a position they want to get in. More scythe chariots coming in and cleaning up the remainder. There it goes. It routes 319. And in, in the back, cheap carrion troops is clean up forces. They don't have much left to clean up. Look at this. Just carnage. <laughs> oh my god. Such a crazy fucking battle. Glacier's coming back and boom, they're gonna get hit again by another chariot. This one's at 
360 kills. It is going to get a little bit stuck, but Indy's doing a good job of pulling through. Um, although it looks like he is going to get caught. Javelin's coming in, and that is going to finish off his force. Not before it gets almost to um, 400 kills. Uh, wow, crazy stuff. A couple of our guys still waiting on the outskirts. We'll probably pull them in. Um, but look at the defenses still left for them to get through. I mean, we have Mercenary Leopard Warriors, which are really cool troops. Then we have Slingers, Egyptian Slingers. We have Flaming Balls. We have Scorpions firing down. So this is not a day to, uh, <laughs> to join the Galatian army. They do have a lot of numbers. Um, but as we've shown, those numbers... Uh, are easily whittled away. Look at all our reserves up here too. Even more chariots, more flaming balls, tons of guys, and the uh, the bloody streets up here is where the enemy's, enemy's going to come in. Now they have kind of neutralized the capture point. Now they're pouring everything into the fight. Glacian uh, legionnaires coming in. A lot of troops actually coming in, so this could prove pretty devastating for us. But we do have the ability to prove uh, to pull some units on the flank. The enemy did have some chariots, and sorry we missed this early on. But what I did is I popped. A flaming ball and it destroyed the entire enemy chariot force so this has been uh, a case of chariots doing the best they can and the worst they can and uh, at every coin toss it ended up being in our favor let's get back into the meat of this the meat grind we're gonna throw in some thorax swordsmen more thorax pikemen and other um, just defensive units being tossed in here oh actually it looks like this is on the uh, the enemy side they did have an Egyptian player, so good for them for getting pikes in the mix. A little too little too late. Um, this should have been what they led with. Would have kept our chariots at bay. Um, and they're fighting under the flag of the capture point. So perhaps they can get a little bit of an advantage. I do want to see some of my native Egyptian troops fighting with the uh, some of these Gauls. Not looking too good for them. Yeah, Egyptian native troops are pretty weak in general. That's why you have to rely on the elephants, uh, the pikes, or even some of their awesome Ptolemaic cav units like that. Here comes a massive hammer and anvil from the rear. Um, some bolts that you see coming down from our units. Uh, firing on them. Mercenary Rhodian Slingers now with 45 kills. The Slinger crew over here with 70 kills. You don't see that very often on the Slingers. And then down here we have some more Scythe Chariots with 648. Holy crap. They're trying to push forward. They're trying to get uh, an easy strike on this force. They got gunned down. Um, not before we break this with the rest of our troops and come in with some Ptolemaic Cav. I actually really like playing as Egypt. They're not one of the most powerful factions, but they have some really cool stuff. Combination of chariots. Um, I do kind of like the cheap Egyptian forces. Um, yes, they are pretty crap, but I do often like going for a more Zerg builds where I have a lot of cheap units and then use, um, you know, good micro to, um, increase their cost effectiveness and by having a lot of them you can overwhelm the enemy um, suppress them get around their flanks a lot of cool stuff you can do so that's why I like Egypt and of course there's always the uh, hilarity of elephants and chariots oh man you couldn't you couldn't punch through that force it must have been on really low health plus Egypt has some really sweet forces for the um, the extra units um, oh flaming balls yep Mercenary Kushite Leopard Warriors wanted to see some of them in action. So you're getting to see a lot of cool stuff actually from Egypt. Which is, like I said, again why I like the Egyptian uh, army. Because you can bring a lot of these uh, unique, interesting units. Down in the center, we are getting kind of kind of whittled away by these Galatian Legionnaires. They're getting good kills against us. They have a lot of numbers. Celtic Slingers and all sorts of units that were putting the hurt on our uh, Pike Force. Thorax Pikemen here are zoning us out, keeping us from reinforcing. So pretty good. Another Pike Force going to be uh, getting our Thorax Surgeons. They're doing a pretty good job of kind of breaching and clearing here. But the enemy cav is running in fear because here we go. We're going to be popping the Flaming Balls. Ooh, it's going to take out three of them. And the other ones kind of fall short and get caught on this little uh, ridge line, which is unfortunate. We were hoping to get some nice strikes on the enemy. Uh, now they've wisened up and pulled back, but not before. Um, we have units just stationed here. Galatian Royal Guard, which are extremely good troops. And they're told to melt away Pike Wall. 
So the Pike Wall, look at everything they're leaving behind. All of those killed by my Javelins. Now they're trying to close on the Galatians with their Pikes away. Uh, and yeah, I think they're absolutely routed here. Yeah, Thorax Pikemen routed from just the Javelin Volleys. Woo! Crazy stuff. More Pikes coming in to try and block us out. Oh my god, Javelins to the face. Um, another um, thing that I think people overlook too much in Rome 2 um, is the use of Javelins. A lot of people will just throw their units immediately into combat and waste the Javelins, never use them in the game. But what you should definitely do is have full use of your Javelins. You know, engage one force and then with the other one, don't charge in and have a 2v1. Have a 1v1, pull the other unit to the side or in a supporting position, fire your Javelins and then charge and you will get a tremendous bang for your buck which is again how I think Egypt does well if you can spam a lot of cheap troops they can fix the enemy in place and then with your elite units what you can have them do is um, wait for the crucial moment save them at full strength and then commit them after they've exhausted all the javelins and they're fighting against you know shaken and exhausted enemy forces that's how you get Galatian units at the end of the battle with something like 200 kills and that's that's typically what I try yeah you can see the Galatians here with 189 so that is how you do it and again why I like Egypt We've completely abandoned this position, not much for the enemy to do, although the Scorpion is still on Overwatch at 107 kills. Crazy stuff. Slingers with 18 and 46. Rodian Slingers with 117. Um, still more enemy units in the mix, but oh, this is not looking good for them. Ptolemaic Cav going to be charging in the rear, and I don't know if we're uh, how we're going to handle this. Oh, it looks like we're going to take this charge against a spear uh, unit. Ooh, head on, and that was not a good move them. For them to charge forward into us, they should have braced, turned off fire at will. Uh, instead, we mo we uh, bowl them over and then we pull out before any damage is dealt. And that takes us up to 208 crazy amounts of kills being done here. This is an absurd fight. Uh, the enemy is definitely crumbling. We have hammer and anvils going off everywhere. 86 kills on them. Mercenary leopard warriors. Let's get some action shots of those guys. I do want to see some match combat animations between uh, them and these Galatian units. Some of the spear animations can be kind of cool. Uh, I do find the ones with the decapitations rather hilarious. They poke the head and it just kind of pops off as if it were like a toy. Uh, but some of the ones where they knock them down and kind of stab them in the chest with the spear can be really cool. I don't think the Leopard Warriors are particularly strong. You see them here with only 20 kills. They do alright. Um, mostly they're, you know, spears obviously meant to be fast, quick, nimble, take out uh, large units. You can see they have a bonus versus large, so they're good for dealing with, oh, what are we getting shot by? Oh, the archers. But yeah, these guys are good for countering elephants, countering cav, and other such forces. 99 kills there. Man, just a, a good day overall for all my units. And this is uh, one of the main slaughter points that you saw in the battle and then let's go ahead and revisit how this entire battle started this was you know almost a thousand kills dealt right here in the first couple seconds so that was thoroughly enjoyable to watch as morbid as that might be uh, but look at this carnage jeez let's end the replay and take a look at some of those stats crazy stuff so for myself uh, I got 1400 kills Indy getting more uh, look at the Galatians 219 and 140 like I said using them very effectively uh, Egyptian infantry and native troops not doing that good, but they're just tiring out and holding the enemy, um, allowing me to get you know lots of kills with these units with javelins, scythe, scorp uh, scythe chariots with 265, and let's let's take a look at Indy, 650 kills. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and almost 400 kills with this force. Jesus Christ! Look at that. That is crazy. I have never seen that many kills with the chariot that is absurd and obscene um, the enemy force with yes yeah, some chariots not doing anything pikes doing okay thorax swordsman doing okay but Damocles the one Damocles the dank uh, the one who just got oh Galatians just getting flatlined across the board some of them that survived ended up doing pretty well against the Egyptian infantry but the rest boom just knocked flat on their asses uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Somehow it's still a Pyrrhic victory, but uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this. The enemy, oh my god, look how many men he deployed. 3,000. No wonder there were so many uh, guys to kill.
and then 1400 here I myself had 2000 Indy had 1400 um, so yeah really enjoyable fight hope you guys enjoyed and uh, stay tuned for more I'll see you in the next one peace out